it's all in a day's work for this woman. She opens up a manhole cover and scoops out as much slop as she can, delighted by what she finds. What others might view as revolting, she sees as a bonanza. She works in the streets of the southern Chinese city of Shenzhen, a foot soldier in China's so-called gutter oil industry. After more than ten years in the business, she says she's made enough money to build a house for her family back in her home village, a thousand miles to the north. Her slop eventually winds up in a processing plant like this one, where it's combined with other animal fat refuse to create recycled cooking oil. Workers put the oil in barrels for delivery to restaurants and hotels. How can you eat this? If you eat it, it can kill you. Cooking oil has long been a cherished commodity in China, where stir frying in a wok is the mainstay of daily meal preparation. <laughs> The high profit margins from gutter oil production have proven irresistible. Chinese experts estimate that one tenth of China's cooking oil is gutter oil, which has been found to contain carcinogens and other toxins harmful to humans. Most of it winds up in hole-in-the-wall restaurants and among street food vendors. Illegal production sites are often discovered after people living nearby notice a nauseating stench and alert the authorities. Police have arrested scores of people across the country in recent years for engaging in the trade and seized thousands of tons of the material. The Chinese government enacted a tough food safety law in 2009 that included harsh penalties for producers of tainted products. But many consumers doubt that China's dinner tables can be completely free of gutter oil. All we can do is accept it. In our current society, everybody tries to swindle everybody else. There's nothing we can do about it.